Hello everybody, welcome to uh, the Season 45 Round of 32 match between Pwnbot and his ludicrous Protonians and a large thud and his Pro Elves. Pwnbot <laughs> has induced a wizard and for some reason, rather than a good star player, he has induced Dolphar that he's not even fielding right now. A bribe and a babe. So, what an absolute meme lord. He's induced the literal worst star in the game. And he's got shadowing on a bird, and his team is just not even exciting. Meanwhile, a large stud has 14 proils, which is beautiful, isn't it? He's got a strength 5 elf. How What an amazing player a strength 5 elf is. Wish I could have one of those. He's got an edge 5 blitzer. He's got a move 9 catcher. And then he's got a move 9 edge 5 catcher. So, and he's got a couple of guards as well. This really is an amazing pro elf team. Um, and it's a crappy... It's a really, really, really crappy Brett team. With terrible inducement choices. So, in my opinion... So this is going to be an interesting one, isn't it? This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Pwnbot somehow beat Sindane with with Woodies in the first round. So, you know, very good coach with, with a very good race. But this team looks to be too much. Uh, I don't know how good a large third is as a coach, but uh, this, this Pro Elf team is absolutely monster. I, don't, I can't see a chance in hell for Pwnbot in this game. So there you go. Let me just finish my dinner. <laughs> No, he isn't Chunda. He's literally the worst star in the game. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> terrible! He gets a bit of... He gets a bit of... Uh, a bit of value by the fact he's not a peasant. But, you know, there you go. I do know I'm tall. Was it not I'm tall? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Necropotence. Like, there's a bit of value on Brett, the fact that he's not a peasant, right? Obviously, he's horrific on elves. At least he's not a peasant, but still terrible. Seeing as you can hear, you hear Chunta, you can tell us how much it costs. It must be over 150, mustn't it? He just seems terrible. He just seems absolutely terrible. It's got to be at least 150. Like, he's 70 for an elf, isn't he? And he's got, he's got some skills. 150, there you go. That's horrific. That's just literally horrific. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know you like. I know you. You were very nice, Chunter, saying that I uh, that I call fours fours and not ones or tens. But uh, Dolphar is unfortunately a one. <laughs> I thought it was toxic and hateful for him to not mention me. Welcome back, PC. Hello. Sorry, I thought I'd mute it as I went away, but I clearly haven't. So. Uh... Hello. I've still got dinner arriving in a few minutes, but I'm here right now. I uh, hopefully I can tide you over till you're back, and then you can tide us over till I'm back. I'm I'm already back. I uh, I ah excellent. <laughs> Dolphar is the kicker. He's a kicker. That's the idea, right? It, yes. The idea. The fluff is he's a kicker, so he's got kick, and he's got hail mary pass, like to represent him kicking it. Yeah. And then he's got kickoff return because he's like a special teams player. So he's got kickoff return and pass block. So he's like a special teams elf. And he's got diving kite. So he's like he's like a kickoff returner and a kicker. He's like, yeah, that's the idea. Special he, team. I have seen him used as a sort of cheap version of Bogolanti with Bretonians. Uh, the problem with that, Jim, is that it doesn't work. 
<laughs> yeah. The problem is Borgalant is pretty good and yeah. Dalfar is fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's largely the issue. <laughs> I mean, you, you summed that up reasonably well. Um, but he, he does have the AG4, he does have the move 7, he can be sprung out from behind a, a wall of peasants and wrestlers um, with the ball. But, I mean, yeah. the problem with that is that wooden bot, I'm not so wooden bot because I'm just not. Um, already has uh, a move 7 agility 4 but that has yeah. sidestep and blodge and yeah. hence is better at exactly the task you might if you didn't have that piece use Dolphar for mm. um, as well as short hands. Yeah exactly uh, there's, a, there's a player that is universally decried which is uh, Ludgrip Whiparm and I quite like him o often I w I w I'd probably take him more than anybody else in the world I've probably taken him that's a bold statement but I'd, t I'd take him quite a lot as Chaos you know because I tend to not build an early ball carrier because I'm you know yep. unless I get lucky Yeah get and he's not bad at that Yeah he's, he's really not bad but, In the latest rules he with dodge he's now really quite good at that yeah, and you know, so, and it um, also against those teams where you want a ball carrier, he's got strength three tentacles, and while strength three tentacles isn't good, at least it, you know in those kind of games you'll be up against maybe wood elf catchers and gut runners, mm -hmm. and having that strength three tentacles can be quite relevant. So yeah, I I quite I'm quite okay with him, and yeah, I could see with Brett if you don't have the carrier. And you know he's he's better than a peasant, isn't he? It's it's the silly yeah. Billy argument of him being so much better than a, a skink. Um, he is better than a peasant, but he's also just trying. Yeah, he picks up on a two. He moves seven. Um, he's got no skills that are really that useful to you, but you know there are some skills that you know, kick off return again makes him not bad at picking up on your drive. Yeah, Dolvar is is bad. He's real bad. <laughs> yeah, if he had shadow, I mean, he'd be better if he had shadowing for, for yep. free. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's pretty he's pretty bad. But I agree with you that loot group comes with some skills that are a cut above just sort of not bad as they're there for free. Yeah. Thanks for that, Dimmy. Yeah, was I wasn't quite clear on that, but thank you, thank you for the clarification. One of the good things about this Brett team is the total lack of mighty blow means he can actually make the correct positional blitzes, you know, without being tainted by must blitz with mighty blow every single turn like some people are. And so he's got that going for him. Can't pile on wrongly. <laughs> Can't do a terrible pile on because he's got no pile on. <laughs> There's some positives to this Brett team. <laughs> Oh, Plasmoid, hello. <laughs> um, yes, pass and block would be a lot better, yeah. I still wouldn't want to take him, but I guess I could. <laughs> Whereas as he is, he is he is pretty untakeable. But yeah, I mean, there's an argument, as yeah, Chunter says in like, res, you know, when, when there's not loads of other skills, but when you've got them... And, you know, maybe, like, if you had a team of all peasants or whatever, loads of things. Mm. You know, who, like, maybe there's the odds, the very, very niche cases to take them. But this was not as, as I said, if you take that, the knight that's currently, sorry, Blitzer, uh, that's currently carrying the ball off the pitch, I would argue that Dolphar could sort of fill in that niche within this team. So if that piece was missing, you could kind of, you know, Kick off return puts him near the ball. AG4 means he's not bad at picking up. Move seven. You know, you'd want to keep him safe as the ball carrier. So he can kind of fill in if that player was missing. But Jim, that player very much isn't missing. Yeah. It's terrible. Um, and and it's the opportunity cost of something else as well, isn't it? Yeah, like it's, it's what he doesn't... He, yeah, exactly. He doesn't bring much. Uh, but you've already got the whiz. I mean, I think I'd, I'd rather have a, a bribe. He's, he's got a bribe and a babe oh. as well. Well, maybe two babes and another bribe then. Yeah. He's, or, he's, you know me, I do love a rowdy apple. You could have had Griff. I mean, 300, right? Oh, isn't, me isn't that Griff money? I think he's three and a bit. Yeah, but I mean, it depends how... We don't know how much he spent from his bank. Like, he maybe could have got Griff. 
Three twenty, isn't he? Yeah, three twenty. Yeah. But like, he might have been able to get Griff. Like, if he could have got Griff, shouldn't he have got Griff? <laughs> Zara could do. It. Zara could do a job here. Zara, yeah, definitely could have got Zara. Yeah, maybe Zara and a babe. Potentially. You can even see Zug. Just put some eighty power in. You, you commented on the lack of MB. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why if you really think he's going to carry on on Dolpha, um, for a start, wow, what a terrible mistake. <laughs> and, and secondly, I hope you're wrong. Oh, is it not Trib? Is it just 5338? Oh, it's Samba, isn't it? Oh, I don't know how to do it. No, I don't know any of those. There we go. <laughs> I don't even know the CCL ones, Jim. There we go. If you're Samba 5338, you get that. You get Trip 60. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Dimmy would take 17 bribes. Dimmy maths. Well, they're surviving, aren't they, so far, the births? You know, that's good. It's good for them. <laughs> They've got, there's a mighty blow on the Pro Elves. There's loads of strength, loads of agility, loads of movement on the Pro Elves. And the Burts have a dirty player. That's it. That's, that's all they've got. Which is why I might have doubled up on those bribes and then just fouled everything. Anything I get down. Yeah. Could, have um, had a, could have had a peasant uh, with DP yeah. as, a, as an inducement instead of Dolpha. Would have yeah, been that, that would have been lovely, yeah. Because the bench is, you know, I mean, it's there, but it's there's nothing there that inspires you. Yeah. Except, of course, the dirty player, the possible route to winning this game. Yeah. And, the, and don't forget the shadowing peasant. That's a kick, isn't it? Oh, my God, that's even worse. So one of the few skills that Dolphar might bring to this team, which is kick, he already has. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's not that kind of trip, uh, Dr. Funk. It's a stupid trip, not not the clever trip. <laughs> it's not the clever trip, it's a stupid trip. Yeah, <laughs> that's, who the, that's who the quotes are from. Um. <laughs> Right, let's bring hope where there is no hope, Jim. Um, these Bretonians, of course, do come with a lot of Dauntless. That is the answer to these strong elves. Yep. Um, <laughs> they haven't chosen any tackle. Nope. So they're not weighed down with looking to either Mighty Blow or Tackle Blitz, any of the blodge pieces. <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> uh, and they have a Dota player and a Bribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's exciting. Oh, here comes here comes the shadowing. Watch out, the shadowing oh, player yeah. indeed. Five minutes. Okay. Glorious. Exactly, Dimmy. Yep, the dioism. One of, one of the moronic dioisms. You know, some dioisms are pretty good. Some are pretty moronic. <laughs> that's one of them. <laughs> no offense, Dio. <laughs> I figure I've lost 2% equity this turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you on about, you lunatic? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, you don't need tackle if you roll good dice. That is true. That is true. And if you put it in the right squares, you do make dodges harder, but they still get re-rolls on them because you don't have tackle. <laughs> um, they are, I think, harder if you don't let them have re-rolls on those same dodges. Mm. Because having tackle does not preclude you from finding the right squares. Yes. Yes. That His is name is Dio. He says things we don't understand. <laughs> so he's hitting the worst guy, uh, but he is the furthest forward. Oh, yikes. Well. It's, oh well, I mean that sort of cheers me up a lot for that backfield blitz. You never love to see a backfield blitz, but on the other hand, if containment is the plan here, and at the moment it looks like that is the pl the elf plan, um, then it, it does make sense. Just keep them nice and walled up, yeah, with your 
army of deadly evil elves strung in front of them. Yeah. Yeah, like obviously this was higher higher value, wasn't it? But then he sidestepped, so he, he could get a hit back if you don't power him and I mean, you could also just dodge away, but then you could hit this guy. So, like, you, you know, there's there's value in just hitting the, you know, the, the deeper target, isn't there? I think it's fine. In a horrific upsetting of the natural order of things, like when you see a lion running away from something very small and pointless like a house cat, <laughs> that strength five catcher able to just stand there parading its glory, showing off its muscles. <laughs> Knowing that blood strength five with no tackle on the opposing team it's not going to be the Blitz target. <laughs> Despite how much we all wish it died. <laughs> actually, uh, actually, Purple Chest, I feel that, you know, Strength 5 elf catch Elven Catchers should be, you know, some kind of, like, uh, you know, protected uh, species. Species where, lauded in the community. Yeah, no one should ever Blitz them, ever, you know, ever enter their tackle zones. They should just give them the, you know, the Canadian respect they deserve and just basically just concede every time they face one. I think that would be fun. Well, my advice to you with your Strength 5 is to do exactly this. Use it as the linchpin of your screen uh, in a unprotected and exposed position. No, I think you should definitely do that. No, no, I'm... However, as I said, the, the <laughs> Britannians... No, you're just not. Okay, no, no, all right, no, fair I'm, enough. Am I fucking going to do that? <laughs> but the Britannians do lack any skills to, to terrify it. It's just standing there, picking flowers, painting its nails, waiting until it takes your ball away. Yep. Yeah. But this guarder is going to wait until he gets his balls taken away because he's going to cut this. This peasant is going to come in hard and stomp him in the nuts. You'd hope so, Jim. I. The shape looks like that's what's happening. Yep, guard on each corner. Nice. Lovely. He's going to have to drop back his, uh, his winger man, slightly lose control of the edge to fill this cage. Yeah. Yes, red hair. Yeah, I mean that is the thing. Isn't Lovely. Well, hey, huge, huge cards. Uh, let's let's see what let's see what calcium thinks. Wasn't sent off. Love that foul. <laughs> well, <laughs> Thanks, I, calcium. I, I didn't feel tremors of equity, Jim. I think that was fine. <laughs> no, yeah, it was. But it was. I, I, even was... though he was stunned and it looked stupid, I think it's great. You've got the. You've got the. Uh, you've got the you bribe. Got it's bludge guard. Like I think, I, I think it's genuinely a great foul. Like I, I would, have, yeah. I would have fouled that all day. Hundred percent. Three assists. Dirty player. No harm to the ball or ball carrier to do it. Uh, and it's a player of good value to remove. Plus, it's your only way to win the game is to foul some of these elves out. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Behind it all day. Yeah. <laughs> and well done for not, to some degree, looking for much worse targets and losing the, some of that. Protection beforehand. It was it was a beautiful target. Yes, I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of good targets in this team, isn't there? There's like <laughs> five good elves left, um, five and a half, I guess. But, so there's a lot of good ones. You can't protect them all. So is he going to go for the surf here? He could he could surf this peasant like it's only a peasant, but it... oh, okay, he's not going for the surf. Could have surfed him. It's funny you mentioned Sir Jim. I was just about to say that, of course, you can only kill them one at a time. And then I thought, well, that's the likes of you and me. Of course, if we were Andy Davo, we could kill them in multiples through our skill at surfing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know he's got friend in me. There's no frenzy that he had a player. He had a player stood here, so he could have the edge five could have dodged in, punched him to there, mm -hmm. and then gone round and obviously got sidestepped, so he could have uh, surfed him. But he was defended. Against the frenzy. Whey hey, hey. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going for the shadowing guy. Well, who wouldn't? It's a juicy target, Jim. It's a terrifying skill to have on the field. <laughs> yep. I mean, the elves are thinking, okay, I have multiple plus agility pieces. I have a few strength pieces and a strength five elf, but pff, that's a shadowing peasant. My way forwards here is just doomed. 
Just because he can doesn't mean he should. No, but I mean, I, I like I like this. I like going for the serve. Like, oh, it's only like a 1 in 36 dodge, right, with him. You get the mighty blow him if you power him. So, like, powering him is fine. And you get to shut down the sideline as well pretty well. So, like, I did actually quite like going for the serve. I thought it was, I thought it was fine. Obviously, if you're 1 in 36 to dodge, then you're in real bad place as you get gang fouled to absolute death. <laughs> I showed up the sideline anyway, so... So yeah, this is the problem for the birds because they can't knock anyone down. So all the sidesteppers are like magnified in in a. Uh... Yeah, you have to go up the right right now, Jim. Yeah. And he is beautiful. It's it's the uh, I, the space I see there. I don't think you're ever getting again. Yeah. Um, and I, it's not enough, but it's you've got to make it enough. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if the ball can go. I mean, it can, but there's a lot of GFIs to make it even vaguely safe. Yeah. But certainly you can get another couple of pieces up there and the ball might have to come later. Yeah. But if you can spread the elves end to end at this point rather than across the pitch, that's probably better for your odds on the last three turns of finding anything. Yep. Yep. Always good to have an elf spread eagled. Trap sprung indeed. Yeah, this could be trap space, couldn't it? Maybe he should have taken more. He could have been here, couldn't he? Like, uh, you know, further in. Like, yeah, uh, that's it's an odd first choice. And it made me worry that maybe he's just potatoing him as a distraction whilst holding the ball back. Decoy does, octopus. I think that's a mistake, yeah. No, he's gone in with the ball. Going to GFI, surely. He's, he's got to get forward. I, I don't know yeah. GFI. Yeah. I, get, um, I guess it makes other people GFI after you, which is a bit shit. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six. So you, you can just do one GFI. So I guess you stay there. And then this guy can GFI forward and you've got something. The beauty of this advance is that the two best elves, those two evil, evil quick catchers are right on the other side. Yeah. Now that's great for us because we're getting away from them, but it's also great for the elves. They're the two pieces with the most ability to, you know, to cope with this side sweep. Yeah. But it's still the only space he's seen. Boy howdy, this is rowdy. Boy howdy, this is rowdy. Okay, I think he just fucked shot the bed there. <laughs> yeah, but he, even if you're doing that, you've got to move this guy first, right, and make the GFI. Yeah, and then I still don't like, to. I still don't have like to. him even then. Have to. Might see a two D on the ball here. <laughs> don't know about you. Well, I. <laughs> At the moment, it does not feel adequately protected, Jim. I will go that far. I might have spotted a 2D on the ball. <laughs> uh, there's literally no way he can stop it as well. <laughs> Unless he dodges through diving tackle. He's literally got to dodge through diving tackle to stop this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can go round the outside and more or less get there. No, he's he just couldn't. He just couldn't get there. Diving tackle. He could he couldn't get there because you can just put in the guard and, and 2D him. So he, he yes, literally but you, Yeah, you could get equal with it and then when he sidesteps back. Oh, you see, the problem with this, Jim, is that's the square you probably want to sidestep into. So if you went round the outside and at least got to his right, yes, it would still be 2D, but you've got a, a nice little pocket to sidestep back into. Yeah. Now you just don't. Yeah. You have nothing. Yeah. This does seem quite bad, yes. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Fortunately, if, if all you can do is engineer a better fail state, sometimes that's what you need to start thinking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I think I think he had to just. I mean, well, he had to not do everything he did, right? <laughs> that's that's why he had to move that guy before he hit the bloody blitzer. Is what he had to do, and then probably not hit the blitzer either, but definitely move that guy. If you're gonna do it, not sure I like the safe moves first here. I feel I just hit the ball then because you can react, can't you? You prize. Elf's gonna elf. I think this is pretty terrible doing safe moves first. Oh, there were two good options there for the Bretonians. The first was pushing this blitzer that did go forwards, forwards, and maybe one or two other pieces following it whilst keeping the ball nice and back in a safe cage. Hoping that split the elf focus and allowed you more space next turn to push, uh, you know, a deeper cage through, or a much more aggressive plan involving, you know, 
five or six go for it and a, a properly try attempt to secure the ball up in this side. And I thought he didn't really execute either of those in a way that convinced me. Um, and now Dolphar will be useful because the blitzer that he could have replaced if it was missing. Uh, oh no, he's apoed it. Power up all comes in. He's not going to rely on Dolpha. <laughs> so I, I didn't like it, Jim, that turn. I thought there were two good options, both hard to achieve, but probably needed to be in this matchup, one of those two. Yeah, he blocked his pathing there. He blocked his pathing. Mm. Literally blocked his pathing. That's weird. Mm. Why not just even tag this peasant? GFI, oh my god, the pointless GFI. Wow. Oh my god, too good. Too good. Justice. Well, that's, yes. <laughs> a beautiful, rare example of justice, but there's still that diving tackle sidestepper that we haven't really found an answer to. Uh, just putting its tackle zone all over that ball. We're just going to power. power. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. Three dice, isn't it? Just power. Yeah. I mean, it's two dice, but, but yeah, we can put one in to make it three. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fine. Yeah, you, why not? Why not just put go in there and then you pick it up and then you can pass with with a uh, thing, can't you? Or just pick it up and have it there. Like it's just weird. Or maybe he's going to GFI and then hand it off to him. Oh, he's going to hand off to him, wasn't he? That was why he was going to pick up with him and then hand off back. That was what he was going to do. Yeah. No, oh, <laughs> now he's got to deal with his side stepper. <laughs> Rot all. Well, we've had we, we've had one little go. Um. <laughs> At least it's on the shadowing piece, Jim, so, you know. And he's got a fend as well, so he can't call. <laughs> now we're not on the shadowing piece. I'm distraught by that. <laughs> yeah, no, so actually, to be fair to him, he blocked his path, but, but handing it off to him there would have been super strong, wouldn't it? Yeah, it really would. But picking it up on a blodge agility five piece against a non-tackling team isn't that week itself. No, yeah, I, w I wouldn't have gone for the extra, but I can see the point now at least. Got the pow, didn't kill him, never lucky. He's not looking good. <laughs> that was my five year impression. <laughs> Well, I must be much missed he is. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, pass. I mean, he can't even do anything, can he? Like, what the no. fuck does um, he do? Try somehow to stop the elves scoring, and I've no real ideas as to how that's done. I mean, you just have to get the ball in your hands on your blodged knight. And then foul him? Uh, yeah, and yeah. Then come in with a foul, maybe. I mean, there's still a will win condition for the Bretonians here. Pick the ball up, lob it to the other knight. He catches it in a tackle zone. Yeah. Scores. All, all Gucci. Yeah, and there's just lineman throw a blitzer in the way, so he could he could go for the pass this turn if he wanted <laughs> without a reroll on a six. Yeah, that's that's the problem. There are problems with it. Foul him. Stomp him. Stomp him in the nuts. Yeah, he's marked though, the edge for Stomp him. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to bribe. Just stomp him. Like, he's too good at getting you down. He's too good at getting you down. It's the tackle, and there's no wrestle around, so that's the piece to fear. Yeah. As you said, the bribe gives you the cover. And you do need to high roll in this situation because you are utterly buggered. <laughs> yeah. Why's oh, move eight? Didn't foul. He can just come, can he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. Oh, he's nine. So he can he can tag him out with him easily. And then 2D in the tackle. And then the edge 5 can come through. 
Are you suggesting, Jim, that you think the elves have spotted the cunning ruse of the Bretonians to have a scoring threat? <laughs> I think they're just going to completely ignore it and just get the ball anyway. <laughs> Screw the scoring threat. He needs to. He, he plays a large thud. Does all his moves first before the sacks. Oh, that's a horrible block. Horrible, isn't it? Oh, horrible. Um, it what in its unnecessariness? Yeah, or its he, could risk? Have, he could have just. He could have just two plus through and, and got the ball afterwards. Like, and I just don't like doing all this. Like, you you've got to hit the ball, right? So hit the ball. Yeah. Because all these guys can do things. And like, okay, I mean, tag him, that's reasonable. But Yes, the tag's reasonable. Getting a couple of players that were down back into the game in case the first thing fails is reasonable. But yeah, oh, I see, that's how we're hitting the ball. I see. Oh, well, if you're going to do that, bring him. Because now you've got no recovery at all. You've expended all of your players. Oh, I hate it. I think the recovery is the blitz piece. I hate it. I hate it. There's a good chance it bounces through here to an unrecoverable position. Exactly, because he's activated everybody already. Like, or like, a very deep throw right up the other end. Imagine if this guy had assisted, uh, right? Imagine if this guy had just come through and assisted. Yeah. And then you would have had this movement nine catcher to just go, oh, my ball, thank you. Oh, oh it helps. Look, it's all solved. Nope. Wow. Boy, howdy. They did three twos and couldn't find them. There's a very real chance now of this Blodge, Blodge uh, getting free, right? He can he can get free. He can hit the ball. He can 1D with block, get this guy in, maybe. He can 2D over there. And then the wrestler can pass it to the Blitzer. This is possible, oh, except he hasn't got any rerolls. Not that possible. And that was the last reroll. Yeah, I, I hated that turn from a large third. I really hated that, like, he he spunked his, his, one of his responsive players on a block just to yep. just to do this a bit differently, which didn't really actually free up anybody, like, and, and just moving these people safe. I, like, yeah, the tag is doing some... This guy wasn't really being that safe, was he? And he could have gone and picked it up. But, we have seen a lot worse, though, Jim. On the upside of that... It was using a player that had, you know, block, and if it didn't work, he could have fully played the turn. The elf he brought in is a very good elf, and to have that around the ball wasn't terrible. Um, it, it did give him two die on the ball, so, you know, there was a lot of good things about it. But, it, yeah, I, I didn't love it. I would have loved to have found, as you said, a more responsive piece available after the hit and done the hit earlier in the turn. Yes, yeah. Like, yeah, not obviously not terrible, but, um, yeah, I think that's... Especially when you yeah, got but these it was, players. I, I well. didn't like it at all. I just think we've seen much worse turns. Yeah, yeah. When you've got these players, that's the thing, right? You've got an edge five blitzer, move seven edge five. You've got move nine edge five. You've got move nine edge yeah. four. And like you, to not have any of them left, I think is too much. Whatever your plan should have been, you should have had at least one of them ready to react. I think. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Hundred percent led to this situation where we then went for the ball with an elf that isn't one of our better ones. It was too far away, and we didn't hundred percent secure it. And there is still a, a half chance for the Bretonians, which this really shouldn't be. Yeah. We still, of course, do have a whiz in hand. Yeah. So even at nil nil at the end of the half, it's not the end of the world for them. Uh, and if they somehow can get this, which they can't, but if they somehow could, oof. we just picked it up with him. Ooh, I, w I would have tried the dodge away with him, to be honest. Yeah, I think I would, particularly with two tackle zones on that ball as was. Yeah. I quite like firing it up that end this turn. If yeah, you get lucky, it's on a blodge step piece. If you don't, at least it's a long way away. Yeah. If you get really unlucky, it's on the ground, but you know. <laughs> down this end, but there's lots of ways it's at least up the other end. Yep. Whereas this guy isn't hasn't really got a defensive skill, has he? I guess he's no, he's wrestle, he's, but... he's... <laughs> yeah, he hasn't got a defensive he's... skill because if you hit him without wrestle, then he hasn't got wrestle, has he? Skill. Tell you what, I, I'm gonna say, it, Jim, ah, that ball carrier is a teenager at a royal tea party. Oh dear, oh dear, probably shouldn't have said that, PC. <laughs> 
Well, I'd be bewildered and out of his depth. I don't know what you thought I meant. Oh, yes. Okay, yes, of course, that's what that's what you meant. Yes, of course, that's what you meant. And, that, and of course, I... I, I that, what, why would you think of anything else? Why would anybody think of anything else? Yeah, you're quite right. Or indeed, like a teenager on top of the pops in the late 70s. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Surrounded by people of obviously better qualities. <laughs> I don't know what you keep think I'm hinting at, Jim. But I, I, you... <laughs> oh, pen of you. That's at least, at least, at least PC had some plausible deniability, pen of you. Oh, God, fine. <laughs> Oh, only push, no rerolls. Ooh. Imagine if he'd had the ball in the bludger. You'd have scored. Like, that was the payoff, wasn't it? If you get it at the bludger, he's got to power you. And if he doesn't, you've scored. Whereas now, even if he doesn't power you, you've still got dice to roll next turn. So I, I would have definitely tried to have... Uh, I'd have definitely just stood in it with him and, and tried the dodge pick-up pass, which, you know, may not have worked. But, you know. For more dice than Jim, we're looking for a lucky outcome. I think sometimes you do have to push your luck that little bit. Because, as we said, you know, some of the good outcomes to that were so good. Yeah. Like now, he's got a very, you've got a very real threat of losing, haven't you? Like this, this catcher makes mm. himself a scoring threat. And you're, uh, he just doesn't, no, he's still there, he's still in range. Yeah. And also in a lovely space, dodging the easy, uh, blocking the easy dodge out. Yeah. So it's, it's the perfect square there, really nicely found. Oh, shadowing failed. Oh, Jim, no! No! no. It's so unfair. <laughs> and now he's got diamond tackle on the ball. Oh, he's only moved no. six. He's only movement six. I guess he's still got a double GFI, right? Oh, oh. let him go there. Okay, yeah, no, that makes some sense. Yeah. Because of the terrible shape that, uh, that a large third built around this ball carrier, um, getting that blocker free and one dying the line elf in front onto the ball carrier to yes. chain it out yeah. uh, was a possibility and is now less or so. But it's still what I would be looking hard at because I've still got... That's what, that's a five plus? Oh, Jesus, it's, it's a one in three, isn't it? That is not easy. Yeah, but you've got a re-roll, and the fail state isn't as bad as... No, it really isn't, um, because it keeps the ball in your hands, at least. Yeah, you could try punching this guy, just because you just because you can, you know. And if you make it, you're then at a three plus. Yeah. So at least be away with a chance of launching the ball, uh, which before you do, the knight should obviously go to the end. Should he go to the end zone or catch there? He's got catch, hasn't he? I don't hate catching there, then. Yeah. Make the throw shorter and catch in the tackle zone. He's just got to punch this guy, hasn't he? He's got, he's got to punch this guy because it's like basically a free block. And if you dub still, yeah. well, who cares? But you might power him and then you've got another player free, which means then you, you could punch him, but then, because he's not really relevant, there you go, he gets the power. Cheeky power. I like this because this helps you for the second time. Excellent. Um, you can now, you can try a dice on the blitzer. Two die on the blitzer, 30%. Making that dodge out from the blocker even easier. Well, yeah. but then if it fails, obviously if you push it, it's much much harder. I yeah. I still think you probably just try the five plus with the reroll. Yeah, you could try punching this guy because he's the only scoring threat, right? Yeah. So you could try punching him, fish for a power there. No, he's not doing that. And you can certainly bring the, the present power. into. Oh my god! Oh, he is doing the. He is fishing for thirty percent and gets it. Huge, Jim. I much prefer bringing him in, right? Because okay, you could sidestep to there, which is worse for you. I mean, that was a big ball's hit. That's a yeah. that's a thirty percent, which is, you know, the five plus is is better than that. Thirty three percent. Oof! But it now makes it Ooh. a one in nine to get the one die to get that push. Of course, it's because of the guard. It's a two die, but yeah. doesn't get the push. And then the four plus. And then tries the four three. Well, yeah. See if he, nice. if he just hit this, then at least he's not one nil down. Whereas now he's almost certainly one nil down. 
A nicely planned turn. Um, I suppose that 30% looking for that power on the two die isn't terrible because it did bring the peasant more into where things are going no, on. And I think my play of hitting the catcher was far, far better. I think, I think you're right. Um, <laughs> when he's only got the one scoring you, threat. As you said, if it goes down, it's it's beautiful. Yeah. Then you've got the free five plus. Who cares if it fails? Yeah. Whereas now it is looking very much like um, one nil to the pros. Yeah. <laughs> no! He's rolled a one! And yet. Boy, how do Nil nil at the half with a wizard in hand. Still game on, isn't it? Yep. Ooh, horrible chaos. The. Brett's outbashed heavily. Do they still have 11? They do. They do. But only because they wisely hired Dolphar Longstride, <laughs> who is going to dominate this half, Jim. Yeah. He probably is now, isn't he, after slating him? After absolutely slating him, he probably is going to. And uh, for those that really, really care, yes. The shadowing peasant is on that field. Boy, how great things are expected. Yeah, probably in the in the great scheme of things. Yeah, Red Harry. So it's basically certain, isn't it, that he's that he's going to win the game because of Dolphar. Just so, just so I've got egg on my face. <laughs> it doesn't make it right, though, Jim. <laughs> I don't know, a sample size of one usually usually proves everything. <laughs> Certainly a sample size of nine leaves no I think you're than... forgetting that in the inter-Trump years, as we are, <laughs> truth has ceased to mean nothing. Truth is what you decide it is. Oh, yeah. If you feel something's true, it just can be. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. If you don't like the facts, just get yourself some other ones. Yeah. I mean, I do the DO thing. If they win, say, ah, oh, yes, but actually... You know, it was less equity than if you hadn't done it that way. <laughs> Just ignore anything happening for the world in your head, which is better and makes sense. Yeah. Wise words, PC. Oh, I thought you'd forgotten him. Probably hadn't. He's still got half a chance, hasn't he? I can't believe it. Like, you know, even though he's offense, he failed to score. But this wizard, you know, if, he, if he's if he got some good players left and he puts in a, gets a devastating wizard, there could be a shot. That was pretty desperate half, though, wasn't it? But he got a Kaz. Oh, God. I'm definitely not going to play Among Us tonight. I'm shattered again. <laughs> That's what I did yesterday. It's fucking stupid though, isn't it? <laughs> fucking stupid. Have a nap to play. To play Among Us till 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I couldn't disagree more Starfair it's truth is a growth industry um, there are ever more truths by the day and it's you know go out there and make your own truths yeah. have your own truth brand it your truth <laughs> it's a good point fine yeah. yeah I might just have a nap and then play more, more among us <laughs> well he's done the short kick In interesting and a blitz oh boy Dolpha wins the game <laughs> See, of course it could have just been this peasant that did it, but still. It was Dolva! He's gonna screen the ball as well, isn't he? 
Shadowing on the ball. Let's go, lads. <laughs> Beat slabs. He's got a GFI. You can't. You can't just let him hit the ball because <laughs> he's got strength five and he's got guard and tackle. Okay. He is bringing all his key pieces. He's just literally letting him hit hit the guy. The fuck is that? Does Does he know he has guard and tackle? I don't think he cares, Jim. Mm. But what he is doing is creating a nice death box, uh, which is what I talked about before. It's on a blood step piece, so depending where this strength five comes from, there, there are options as to where you step to, where it is not the worst place for the ball to go down. Mm. I don't understand why that blitz is going there. That seems utterly irrelevant. It's Might the wrong side of the field, sense. it's not defending anything, and it's creating a one in 36 on an elf that isn't key to what's about to happen. Yep. But, Might roll know, one in thirty-six, though, PC. Did you think of that? It's it's <laughs> enjoying the day. It's it's feeling it's taking part, and that's probably nice for it. <laughs> where it should be, of course, um, I don't hate any of these others. But where it should be is back over the other side, behind where this ball is being fetched to help sort the problems that there's going to be next turn, mm -hmm. uh, which it can't do where it is now. But perhaps it's a scoring threat. I mean, it is in range now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I am overlooking that. Yeah. Perhaps it's a sneaky scoring thread. Yeah. And the tagging is just an elaborate cover for its real purpose. Oh, he's, he's at five, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the guard is actually, the guard has been stopped by him, so he's got to put in two assists to hit him. And the guard it's, 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 he's done a very good job, actually, Jim. Yeah, you know you can't go with one of your tackle pieces. You're going to have to go with one of the strength pieces. The strength. You, you, you could go with a tackle. You could go with a tackle. It's 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 not impossible. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass. But um, I think he should have just done the GFI. But then he just can't do it. And the elf he stood up that could have been the assist to make it two die with the tackle. Yes. And he did the three plus and do it after the guard was in place. But yeah, yes, this guy right. can just it run around. Terrible. This guy can run around here. Yeah, also true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks like that is the option. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I would have done it. The problem is okay. getting this guard out, and then he's already he's already moved this guy, which would have been one of the two assists to get the two D hit here. Maybe he's just going to one D him. Oh, he only needs one. He hasn't got tackle, so he can just he can just he can just two D him. He's getting assist in there. You go. Two. I thought I thought it, the the other guy had a guard as well. Yeah, 2D. No, no 4 plus. Shouldn't I just get this guy around? Shimple. Yeah. Shimple. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's moved 5. That wasn't that simple then. But I mean, you know, he just won GFI and this just can't happen. Why didn't he go straight back? Um, I don't know. But the GFI, Jim, I mean, it was early in the term with a lot still to do. I understand why he didn't risk it, but I... Again, it comes back to, are you really expecting to win this match without getting a few nice rolls? And I would suggest if you're the Bretonians, no. No, you're losing this match. Yep. So yeah, in situations yeah. like that, you need to really make sure you're giving yourself every chance. And it just didn't quite... But the thing is, he could have just moved Dolphar first, who didn't need a GFI, then move yep. the ball, then move the, like, the... Carrier guy, the edge four guy underneath it, and then do that GFI last anyway. You know, so if you'd already used a GFI, you could have just stood there and had at least you know something in the front and then guard on the back. But instead, it was just all, all wrong. You know that pocket I said would become important where the blitzer that ran forward should have gone to. It's exactly <laughs> where the strength five elves gone. Yeah, funny that. It is funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, people are quite averse to rolling GFIs. You know. Yeah. Too too much. I think people are just general, uh, generally averse to rolling dice when. Yes. It, it makes the opponent things harder. Well, this is looking really bad. He'll just dodge to here because he's got dodge. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> it's Dolphar rubbish. <laughs> Well, he's not not rubbish. <laughs> I 
It does, yeah, as I said. Yeah, like, it's, it's completely understandable, right? But it's, it's still, like, you know, it's still things you've got to do sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes things just need to be a certain way. Oh, it's just, that is what it is. Okay, so now we need to find the 30% on two die. Oh no, we still only one die, aren't we? That's... Yep. Bizarrely, shadowing piece has not solved all of our problems. What's happening here? Is my replay broken? Uh, no, I'm paused at the same point. Hmm. Maybe, maybe there's a, there's a pause in the game or a disconnection in the game. Uh, no, I have moved forward from that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're moving now. Okay. Very exciting. Yes, it should have been, yeah, it shouldn't. Really should have been. No excuses for not making that GFI. A little wanna gets the knockdown. Oh, there was no block on the no block on the catcher. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Red Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we done turned him over, Jim. Yep. All is now Gucci. Yes, Gucci and fine. I don't see any problems with this. No, I mean, how could you see any problems? I mean, on the other hand, this is going about as well as the Bretonians could have hoped. They've still got the whiz, they've got the ball in their hands. Um, it's, it's, you know, this could go worse. <laughs> Yes, Dimmy, oh. I know the Prowl catches don't start with. Do it, do it, do the go for it. it. Do we haven't do taken the, it until now. Do the go for it, 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 do the go for it. This is where you did that go for it. You did the go for it now. <laughs> How you do a go for it? Just one little go for it, and the position is so much better. Do that go for it. Nope. Come on, put a go for it. Don't want to. <laughs> oh, come on, just. And then you could. What, what? Jim. He didn't do it. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. Oh, he doesn't like the gophers, does he? No. If only someone had an emote that in some way signified, oh, I don't know, a, a, a nervous go for it. <laughs> but they don't. I took it off my channel earlier today. Ah. Well, I've got this one. Yeah. I've still got that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I tried animating it as well. Um because one of the wipes in from the left to the right. Yeah. I just it, it the same the same with the one my son designed for me, which is nice, but it just doesn't quite work at emote size. Yeah, it's a bit, bit too small, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's his he, that's a snake surrounded by ones. Which yeah. he said was a storm of snake eyes. Which is great. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, but it just doesn't quite work down at the moment. So. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, it is hard to do in autos, isn't it? Like, oh wow, that's a cool one, isn't it? It is really hard to get things readable at like small size, for sure. Yeah, that, that means something and is so small, and yet it's still in some ways fun. Yeah. It's amazing I've done so well with the ones I have done. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I mean, mostly it's by preying on people like yourself and Arrested Development and your skill at art, because I have zero. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but I mean, you've got great emotes. Thanks. I wish I had Gedeonix emotes. His, his, are, his are the best. Yeah, his are. <laughs> he, he takes it to a whole other level, but they're very niche. <laughs> yeah, they are, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do miss this stops now, but it, it had its day. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, Flicky yeah. Calm, I just, I feel so sorry for Flicky every time I see it. It's, <laughs> it's such a good amount, though. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh look, he didn't last. Oh, dear. Right out. Uh oh. Dolphar will have to solve it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Dolphar will solve this one, I'm sure. 
A large thud doesn't want to make the JFI now. <laughs> Nobody wants to make JFIs in this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nobody wants to make GFIs. Uh, no. So the guy without sidestep is going to try and pick it up and fail. First GFI would be a dead player. Yeah, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh. Well, getting the ball in a strength 5 is pretty good. I should know, I tried multiple times against Rick. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is still a whiz, Jimmy. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there uh, is. I quite like burning that player with fire. Yeah, yeah, I quite like this. And you've got loads of stuff to react to it. You've got things back well, as well. Really importantly, Dolphar's there. Yeah. Yeah, Dolphar's there, ready to win Mock the game. Mock him as we do, he does have agility four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure enough, in it comes, and totally fails. <laughs> he rolled the one on the board. <laughs> on the board. Oh yeah, he could have, he could have hit the fire guy before. No, I think you just got to bolt this, because you can't get him down any other means. <laughs> Why would it be funny to hit your own player? <laughs> it's literally the only way you can knock this guy down ever. <laughs> I like the. Oh yeah, 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 Timmy. Uh, calcium's verdict. I would. I wouldn't have wizarded there. <laughs> well, I mean, much like teaching simple maths to Timmy G, it may have been the right thing to do, Jim, but it failed. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was. Uh... I think it was, I think it was definitely the right thing. Yeah, I mean, there's Dauntless maybe, but yeah, yeah it's just, just I think oh, it's gonna be a better shot now that it's on a strength five elf. We're pretty slim. There was some disarray amongst the elves. It, I think it was the right time to do it. Yep. Fireball isn't gonna get it down done because you have to get that strength five elf down. Yeah. So the bolt was the only real answer. Um, and once happened, I believe sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course he had a whiz. But he rolled a one, so it was a terrible decision. <laughs> you could have argued perhaps he shouldn't have brought the whiz at all if he was gonna roll a one, Jim. <laughs> exactly, yeah, he could have he could have he could have had three hundred another star of the quality of say Dolpha. He could have had four fifty inducements. He, he had four fifty inducements, he could have had Morg. And instead he got Dolpha, a bribe that he didn't use, a babe that fa the babe failed by the way, he failed all three kills. So the babe did nothing, Dolpha did nothing, and the Wiz did nothing. He could have just had Morgan cast somebody every turn, guaranteed. <laughs> he could have definitely had Griff, Griff would have been pretty stellar. It would have been hard to deal with, right? The, the the one thing this team lacks is actually like the tackle. So having having a strength four bludger would have been pretty 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 decently hard for this team to deal with. Not actually hard, but you know. Oh, here we go, Dolpha, rolling for the pow. Come on, Dolpha. This is it. This is his time. Oh, boo. Boo. What a tragedy. Ah, well, this is a... Uh... This is looking very, very, very bad for Pwnbot now. Sorry, Jim, briefly lured from my uh, commentary booth. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, that was the fuck to make, wasn't it? But the guard is still relevant. Ah, 
I think <coughs> excuse me. I think Throne is a bit too harsh because the uh, the elves are a lot better than <laughs> the elves are a lot better than the shitty uh, birds. But he definitely had uh, he definitely had like good chances to do things. Yes. Better chances than we thought coming in should have been available to. Yeah. Which makes you question particularly how the elves ran this half. I mean, why is the ball anywhere near the Bretonians? But of course the Blitz hasn't really allowed them to take it away. <coughs> yep. <laughs> I was gonna be muted as I cough my guts out. Jim's fine, everyone. His healthy, active lifestyle has left him physically in a great position. He's probably just popped off to do some press-ups. There we go, full on Tato, game one. You can throw a rerun at that if you feel like it. It'll be fine if you don't. There's nothing can get hold of this strength 5L. Um, so yeah, chooses not to. I'm fine with that. like looks bad for the birds now but yeah i think throws a bit yeah. too harsh but yeah they definitely had more chances than uh, i would have expected them to have and they could have made use of them a bit better but they were fine weren't they i think if this is the sort of game you should care about then you would go to bed worried that did you make full advantage of the blitz and i think the answer is universally no no you really didn't i mean if this was a game that you cared about you should probably go to bed thinking to yourself why the fuck did i use birds <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Have I allowed my life get to a point where Blood Bowl is something I actively care about? Yeah. Uh, that would be another train of thought. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> As a source of the one die here, he might have worked himself with that lovely pal. <laughs> if he sees it. Very saucy. <laughs> extremely difficult and he's chosen not to even try. He did involve a 4 plus followed by some uh, peasant go for it and then uh, one of the knights running all the way back probably better just to try and trust Dauntless and get one assist on them which is I think what he's trying. Or just stand near the ball <laughs> looking that's stand near the ball yeah well, that's a pretty good strat here <laughs> it's uh, it's some very advanced blood bowl we're seeing here, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you tried for the old standing standing next to the ball? It's similar to the Canadian gambit, but uh, you know it might unsettle people, so it's slightly. No, I, haven't, I haven't seen this in since Zurich in '92. <laughs> <laughs> slightly less polite than the Canadian gambit. <laughs> No, definitely no Burn. I quite like the idea of doing Zons. I, I'm edging towards Zons, making a second account called like Jimmy Zontastic or something, and then like playing a hundred games on Zons. And then also, it'll be funny because each each season I'll be able to be like, "Ooh, can we prove Jimmy wrong?" And like, obviously won't because KFOG didn't win, so there's no chance I will. But it'd be funny, wouldn't it? I won't say that Amazons can't win Chalice, Jimmy, um, but they, they, it's a struggle. Yeah, but I mean, KFOG didn't win it. No. So. And he is quite good at the Blood Bowl, and particularly with Amazons, um, one of his favourite races. Yep. The game state wasn't that bad, I shouldn't have known. He was just probably, probably just pissed off. Who knows? Who knows what had happened in real life as well, right? <clears throat> Most of my concedes have been because how I felt in real life rather than the game state. Well, 
I did hear some mumblings and rumours, which of course it would be inappropriate for me to mention. And so I will. <laughs> which is that that game had proved somewhat difficult to schedule. Mm. And the person who felt they were on the receiving end of that difficulty felt under-rewarded by a tough set of dice. Mm. Uh, leading to a tilt. Now, while I haven't entirely made that up, that is strongly a rumour. Yeah. I mean, it's not that much of a rumour. We, we heard it. <laughs> we heard it from a pretty authoritative uh, person. Well, I, I wasn't going to dump them under the bus. I was going to leave it all very vague, Jim. It's very vague. It's very vague. I heard it through the grapevine. No idea who said it. Probably very unlikely to be true. But, you know, who cares? At the end of the day, like, yeah, it's, it's weird it's how, choice. like, conceding is fucking demonised. Like, who gives a fuck? Absolutely. I, it's always weirded me out. I kind of think it's fine to have your own personal moral code as to when you game and what you game and how, you know, do you feel if you agree to play a game with another human in whatever format, you should play that game out or not. That's your choice. But, but saying, I'm not having fun, I want to stop doing this. It's surely always a choice for everyone, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm kind of don't want to support someone where, where it isn't. Yeah. And sometimes there's consequences for that, and that's sort of okay. But it's, you know, leave the man alone. He decided he didn't want to be playing that game anymore. Well, fine. It's a game. Yeah. No one died. Oh, so they're in the same time zone, shouldn't they? <laughs> so they're in the city, or at least not not too far away. It's not like it was. You were Europe, weren't you, Chunta? So it's not like one was in Australia and one was in uh, you know, America, which is not the same country. <laughs> Despite what Try thinks. <laughs> Even not that I'm noting this down in any way, but just in your time zone, what time is for it? Yeah, when would be happening. <laughs> so yeah, Hungarian and Dutch, so you know uh, America and USA are different times. They are, yeah, there's four there's four different ones, isn't there, in America? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um so yeah, so they were pretty close then in, in time zones. Weird. Wow, has dawn is uh, is Rick's nemesis. <laughs> That's worse no. than me in space. <laughs> it's not a spin you want to see then, if you're one end of that equation. No, holy shit. I mean, there are worse records out there. There's, um, I believe, Dinny versus me is worse than that. I don't know. No, no, no. If you, if you do it, if you do it on Dord math. The eight two zero is going to be one of the okay, one enough. of the worst. <laughs> Jimmy's actually three zero zero versus me. There's one not recorded in there. Ooh. One two six L O D. <laughs> Dimmy will show you. <laughs> so um, that's pretty good. This is a fascinating game of uh, wait for the elves to score when they feel like it. Yeah. Now, we recently bought a block of orange dairy milk chocolate, um, which obviously isn't very nice, because no orange chocolate's very nice. And I forgot that. Um, so it's nice to be reminded. But it claims on the front to be infused with real orange oil. Um, I wasn't aware orange oil was a thing, and I'm wondering what non-real orange oil looks like. <laughs> there are a lot of fake orange oil on the market. Do I need to be aware? <laughs> Maybe is he just going to score here? Because like he's on the he's in the half on his own with like six yeah. At, I mean, there's at least four ways better to deal with this, but yes, it looks like he is. Mm. I mean, you or I might have pulled back to a screen of elves on the halfway line, knowing that we could score at will. Yeah. Um, but he didn't. Interesting choice. Giving us more of a game though. Now the Brets have a chance of making overtime and getting the overtime ball and winning. 
Yep. They have a much better wing condition than they did even a turn ago. Yep. Alright, Dimmy, Dimmy didn't take the bait, so I'll do it. Now, if you are feeling of dubious mind in the chat, you may remember that in the first half, the Bretonians struggled to get over the halfway line against <laughs> themselves, largely just moving side to side before desperately trying to take some space very inexpertly and instantly losing their ball. But things could be different this time round because Dolphar is on the pitch. He should, he's not Dolphar, he's Dolphar. Oh, I like that. <laughs> What a player. It, 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 also, his base has been trash. He's, he's made one out of six KO rolls. Hasn't he? Mm -hmm. He's literally made one out of six KO rolls while on three Yeah, persons. they've not been good. Yuck. Particularly when there's a, a babe on the bench. Yeah, it's real, real, real sad value from that babe. And it was a four anyway, so the, it's, the babe's done literally nothing. I agree with Chanta here. I think we need to push the Knights down the field whilst Dolphar receives. Yep. Four. <laughs> yeah, four turns. Yeah, I think I think I think you go with Dolphar for sure. No kick on the broil, so have him there and now, he's got a kick off return and he can do things now. Diving catch doesn't work in Blood Bowl 2 on kickoff, someone told me, is that true? No idea. I know it, it's bugged in that you don't get the plus one for for um, catching an accurate pass if you catch an accurate pass adjacent to you. That, it's definitely bugged in that regard. We're bugged, you mean they just didn't program it right? Well, yes, yeah, they probably have no idea. I mean, any that of seems like a not particularly difficult thing to solve. Yeah. Just go in and change your value at a plus one. Well, they're not going to do that, are they? <laughs> No. <laughs> so it's a feature. Whether you call it a feature or a bug, it doesn't work how it should. <laughs> so there you go. It looks like we are getting the sexy Dolphar receiving. Dolphar. I'd love to see both, both kickoff return and uh, diving catch coming to use here would be very, very nice. Getting even closer. <laughs> Glorious. He has got a half a chance here, hasn't he, of scoring? Yeah. Not much, though. Maybe not one square too far. There's a one in four chance of Dol that Dolphar gets the catch. Oh, no, he doesn't know because it'll bounce here. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Sorry, I'm an idiot. All right. No need to revel and bask. Yeah, yeah, one square too far. Yeah. Shit. Real shame. Would have loved to have seen the, uh, you know, those mighty skills that Dolphar wields in use. Yeah, in Well, look, they saved him. They saved him three squares, right? So he could have they been did. there. So instead, he's, he's picking up on an AG4, yeah. allowing the blodge AG4 to be both a receiver and part of the screen. It's you know he's serving some purpose. Yeah. Little bit of attrition. Getting the meat cube. Yes, the Shocker logo is part of the base game. Yeah, he's even called his team the Shockers or something. Some some Shocker Shocker Rockers or something it's called. <laughs> it's pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty funny that that is in the base game. Isn't that... I can't describe, can I, because of YouTube. I We'll have a conversation another time about what that is. It is, but yes, it is. Yeah. It is, it is PC, yeah. <laughs> is it? Wow. Yeah. That doesn't seem like it should be there, then. No, it doesn't, does it? <laughs> I mean, I, I, that doesn't look like it should be a thing, but it certainly shouldn't be in a child-friendly game. 
No, it shouldn't. But yeah, that that is the one that is the one strange rule thing that I know is that you don't get the plus one for catching an accurate pass if it's been aimed at the square next to you and you have died in catch, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Like to you know that a that a kind of already crap skill is nerfed a bit more. Or you can I love forward. That. Love those balls. No kind of screen. Just trusting on the two plus needs to at this point in the game. So, yep. Anything screening there is not doing the job of pushing forward, which needs to be done a lot quicker than it was in the first half. Oh God, yeah, I did. I found that out in. Um, I found that out that thanks to Tony in the uh, in the in the Rando tournament where we had we had uh, Kislev with Rando skills. So obviously, with Kislev, um, everyone's got leap. And then, so some people randomly got pass block. So yeah, that's, it's not going to be a common interaction, is it? Leap and pass block because you've got to take <laughs> leap and pass block on purpose. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got it in Rando League. <laughs> is it red hair? Oh, thank God I didn't know that. Also, one of the pre-made Nurgle names is a bad one. So, there you go. One, two, three, four. Is he seven away? That would be a good square skin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's good. So you can just hand it off. I could have clicked on him. I am now tempted to name my next goblin team basically a slur for homosexuals. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good, PC. Yeti goes on the OS. Well, luckily there's no Yeti in this game. But yes, if you've got a Yeti, putting it on the LOS so, LOS so it dies quick, quicker is quite reasonable. <laughs> yep, it'll certainly put you in a good position for the next game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, Snowy Dude. <laughs> finally, finally found. <laughs> The live Twitch, glorious. And it's you good. To, it's good you're gonna put him into a file or a a plastic cage where you can sort of poke him with a stick every few days. Is that the sort of catching of him you're trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. What? What are the? Oh my God! What other kind of catching is there? It just worked, by the way, against the movement eight. Fabulous. That strength Imagine. five elf is terrified of this shadowing. Pest. Imagine if he doubled one. Imagine if he doubled one on the next dodge. It would be the oh, funniest. It would be ever. glorious. It's, it's, He's done it again. Good. Oh, it, it's not the hero we wanted, but it's the hero we need, Jim. Come on, double one, please, double one. It would be the funniest thing ever. Please. He's just stopped. He's just given up. He couldn't get away from the <laughs> Terrified of the shadowing peasant. <laughs> Shadow peasant. <laughs> Incredible. It is. It was too strong for the the strength five elf. <laughs> it knew it was overmatched. It said enough. Enough. I cannot with my mere movement of eight get away from your strength six awfulness. <laughs> Wow. God, this is still grim, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, appallingly so. <laughs> Just try for the smooth power. No, no, he's not even hitting him. He's hitting him. Or oh, just hit a random elf that's not in anyone's way. Yeah, I'm not understanding My this. Elf. No, it's, it wasn't. I. I'm hoping there's a plan we don't understand yet, Jim. 
because I'm very positive tonight. I'll, I'll tell you the plan. He just hands off in a tackle zone, runs up there, passes to him, he catches it in a tackle zone, and then he uh, dodges away and scores. Easy. I've heard worse plans. Easiest think, touchdown of his life. The catch does make such plays. You know, you can use your re-rolls on other things. Yeah. But there's so much dodge and catch around that almost all of that is uh, covered with inbuilt re-rolls. Yeah, it wasn't even that bad, was it? No, it isn't. Get in, hand off. I mean, you can't just run there because he's, he's fucked. So he's, he's he should probably have to pass it. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> Timmy! He should do it in the next 10 seconds, whatever he's going to do. On oh, double geofighter here, says Chunter. I think that's shit as well, they're not good enough. But You lack faith in the ninja mind cage, don't you? <laughs> the old mind cage. Oh, well, he double one. Look, if the catcher had tried one more square. <laughs> that, that was the catcher's oh. times. <laughs> Mm. That's quite likely that then, isn't it? Yeah. We do a problem commentary thing and pretend to be vaguely excited about this and that there's anything to say or ever has been about this incredibly straightforward procession of a game somehow made almost semi-interesting by mediocre play. <laughs> and a blitz, to be fair. Mostly the blitz. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Don't say it's over. <laughs> it's not over. I think the Brits have done all right. I think they've played pretty much as they needed to. They've done the right things, put players in the right spaces. Mostly. Mostly. Um, yeah, mostly. But they, they've done all right. Yeah. They just they're outmatched, and it showed. That said, a large thud has definitely been the worst of the two coaches, but. Oh, he's got loads of agility and strength. And it's not like he's coached bad. There's, you know, there's been plenty of decisions I thought were not great, but most of them were pretty solid. Yeah. Absolutely knows good. what he's doing with this team and uses it well. Yeah, I thought he was fine. Um, oh, I mean, I'd take, it depends how much he costs, Steve Motty, but yeah, I'd take him. On, if he was move six, then he hasn't got a dick downside, has he? So, yeah. I mean, he'd just be a human thrower and it'd be great, wouldn't he? Like, human throwers are good players. If he was six, it would be yeah, much, much, much better. Yeah. But also, really importantly, if you dropped movement on him, he'd be move seven. That would be awesome. Yeah. Um, just dropping movement on him, just taking him up to six. It's not that great. It really isn't. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of silly, isn't it, that he's just strictly worse than a human throw? Yeah. Yeah. And the problem is, is that it, no matter what you put on him, people go, oh, look, now I've got five skills on him, he's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he now costs 240 for a player that's still AV8 or... Is still move five. Even if you solve one of those, doesn't have loads of good skills. You've just solved the problems of him. Yeah. And turned him into something as good as your other players already were. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. He's not good. Absolutely squirrel dude. Do you know who doesn't have animosity to any other players on the old team? Move six, has agility three, comes in with an inbuilt dodge. Um, which can't be cancelled except by tackle. Tackle zones mean almost nothing to her. It's called a goblin, and it's the future of orc ball carrying. <laughs> then you just swap up to the blitzer when you're facing something that's coming leaping, you know, which is going to be a lot rarer. But if you're facing wood elves, you carry on a blitzer. Yeah, got hurt, so Jim. you'd have to get you'd have to get that on a, on a random though, I think. Yeah, PC loves loves loves. Uh, he's a mark for goblins, as PC. But, uh, <laughs> I I disagree with the goblin analysis, but that's fair enough, isn't it? Some people like it's, them, some people don't. 
I, an orcs actually can be built anyway. Um, and at a NAF level, I would probably always still take a Mr. Throat. Um, but for leagues now, for CCL runs and things, I, I genuinely think in the 2020 rules, he can be skipped and it's, it's fine. You're not even memeing, you're just taking a choice. I would never take him ever. Even before. It's just, it's the fact that he, like, I would take him in NAF if I was to ever forced at gunpoint to take Orcs to NAF. Yeah, but um, that. <laughs> but like, when there's progression, I just think he, he harms your team by scoring touchdowns. So I, I really don't. Want yes, to I, I sometimes start with him, but I try and cycle him out by about game five. His job is very much to pick up the ball when, in those early couple of games, everyone else is busy, you know, using their strength or using their block. Um, and then hand it off, and ideally never score, because I don't want SPP on his bloody ass. I want him out of the team. <laughs> Very good, red hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kilmertronics. Yeah, um, seven p.m. UTC. On Monday. No, need to just no still it. have a thrower then. I'll punch things. I said no have a thrower on the roster. Yeah, yeah. They can just hire. <laughs> yeah, have got a thrower. I mean, I mean, you never would, obviously. But they, I thought they'd removed it because just no one ever does it because it's completely ridiculous, totally unnecessary. But um, he's still there then. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the classic throw it on your hands, yeah. Oh, well there you go, that was a, that was a pretty shit boring the game. Chiller, Jim. <laughs> I was on the edge of my seat. Congratulations to that one and commiserations to the other one. Congratulations to us for making it through, I think. We did. <laughs> He failed all three again. He's failed eight out of nine KOs. <laughs> He's failed eight out of nine three plus KOs. That's the highlight of the match. Great value, those uh, those Bloodweiser cakes. <laughs> As they are now less sexistly, but encouraging drinking. Um, be cool. <laughs> Yes, having moved from overt sexism of a bloodwiser babe to the tacit implication that alcohol equals fun and indeed sporting excellence in <laughs> bloodwiser cakes reviving people. My money is the next edition. It's uh, they renamed them to copies of Das Kampf. Oh my uh, God. In a bit to make them even less toxic. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh yeah, I think I'm going to leave the apothecary and uh, yeah, two mine camps, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, refund for the babes, this is in Dolph. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, he's, he's 300. And the and the bribe, right? He's still got his bribe. Maybe a Oh no, he didn't. He used the bribe at some point. Oh yeah, Orca Cola. Orca Cola's not bad. Then they might be able to get. They might get. Yeah, exactly, Squirrel. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, what's it called? Uh, Orca Cola. Because yeah, then they might get some sweet money from Coca Cola as well, right? If they. Uh... I would have thought Coca Cola would never happy with that particular reference. I was amazed they got away with it back then. They're quite litigious, these big branding American companies because of course Coca-Cola isn't a, a soft drinks company it's a franchise name thing isn't it yeah what a sweet lawsuit yeah ah. one of the I always thought they just got away with it because no one cared about Blood Bowl do you know what I mean it was yes. this little corner of nerd culture that people like Coca-Cola would never hear of yes yes there's a lot of things like that isn't it that are, that are wrong but that people get away with yeah <laughs> There you go, large stud. Good shout. Second half play was clearly perfect, and no one could have done better. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, if you watch the vod, uh, a large stud. I actually thought the first half was the was 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 the worst thing, because it was like uh, that was where you didn't give yourself a chance to recover. Do you know what I mean? After you were going to sack him, and I thought you should have made it some way 
to get yeah. one of your responsive guys to recover. Um, whereas... Yes, it, it was fine. I mean, it was a decent attack plan, but I agree with Jim that you, you've so many good elves that surely there must have been a way to do it and have one of them more responsive after the sack and to cycle the sack earlier into the turn order, hence as well, while still getting your pieces up and into a decent shape beforehand. Yeah, yeah. I thought in general you were too cautious before going for the sack turns, and, and obviously particularly that one went with... Yeah, we thought we thought the sack turn was a B plus. It was decent, but there were better options. Yeah. I'll be honest... Just the second half, I thought there was a way somehow of getting that ball out of the blitz problems a little earlier. But I might be wrong. Um, because we were, it, it all looked so over that we weren't getting much attention. Yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't pay any attention at all in the second half. <laughs> well, Jim was playing, making some very inappropriate jokes about the royal family. And oh God, PC, things. please, please don't. <laughs> I was just, I was just chatting away. You were going to some very dark places. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I don't know, Snowy dude. I don't know. You know, he's in the cup, and maybe he just wanted to try and score a one turn because he was there. And, uh, yeah, not as, non were as bad as the granny jokes. But mostly, the, see, PC gets away with them a bit by just not saying the punchline. And, yeah. then, and then it's your fault if you. If I you leave you to your punchline. I just mention something with a, a, a vague frisson to it. And then we move on. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Yeah, we need Mars done for him, not for us. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I thought that was, again, not the most thrilling of games, unfortunately, but pretty reasonably played. Yeah. You know, the Bretonians did poke for their holes and not manage to find them in the first half because the elf wall was pretty solid. They really did a very bad job of taking that space on the one turn when they were offered it. Yeah. As we said at the time, it was it was neither one thing nor the other. You either needed to push players into the backfield and defend the ball or push the ball in and really commit to a lot of go for it. Um, they didn't really do either of those. Uh, and then after the blitz, you know, the elves did what they needed to do. I felt it could have been a little more action orientated, a little quicker getting it away from the Bretonians, but it it all worked out fine as expected. Yeah. Reasonably well played by both. Yeah, and uh, oh, sorry, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Your Highness, we, we didn't know you were in chat. <laughs> right. Uh, commiserations, Pombot. Uh, congratulations, a large thud. Yeah, there was there was some there was some there were some big ones, weren't there? Uh, thank you very much, PC, for the uh, glorious commentary as always. It was a me. pleasure. And but yeah, all I said was that I thought it must be overwhelming to be at one of those glorious garden parties. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. I, I sensed from the jock joking that uh, the laughing that Jim's mind was going somewhere much darker. <laughs> Yes, of course. And, um, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. fantastic.